Coal seam gas mining has stirred quite a controversy recently, and part of the reason here in Australia is a lack of clarity around what the process entails and what the environmental implications might actually be. I'm here today with Dr. Stuart Kahn. Stuart is an environmental engineer at the UNSW Water Research Centre who deals broadly with chemical contaminants in water. Stuart, you recently presented to the New South Wales Parliamentary Inquiry on coal seam gas mining talking about the implications on groundwater. Can you talk to me a little bit about the key points that you raised? The concern is when you extract coal seam gas, you also co-extract very, very large volumes of water. And it's those volumes of water that can cause environmental impacts if they're not properly managed or if accidents happen, if things don't necessarily go as planned. So the coal seams themselves contain lots of chemicals. They contain a lot of salts, which you don't want to mix with drinking waters and you don't want to mix with surface waters, river waters. Uh, but they also contain some very toxic organic chemicals, things like benzene and toluene. One of the risks is when you're actually extracting, you're drilling a well down into the coal seam, you've passed through a number of different aquifers and those aquifers can be very high quality freshwater aquifers. So you, by interconnecting, you're potentially uh, causing contamination of the freshwater aquifer by the coal seam aquifer. Um, and that can seriously degrade um, pristine water to a point that is no longer suitable for use. So you're talking about reservoirs that are actually confined, becoming interconnected? Yes, so many reservoirs or aquifers as we call them underground, uh, which is an underground reservoir, uh, have what we call aquitards between them, so layers of impervious rock that the water cannot pass through. So we can get quite different qualities of water in different aquifers. Uh, the concern then is what happens when we start to drill through those aquitards and we start to mix the waters between different aquifers. And often we don't have a very good understanding of the different pressure gradients, the way waters could move, potential cracking that, can cause in, that we can cause in aquitards um, by major drilling activities. And this could possibly have, have implications for drinking water. We're using groundwater and extracting that for, for drinking water in some cases. Uh, certainly, especially where you have an aquifer that might be a current or potentially a future drinking water supply. If, if you damage that aquifer, you, you've damaged it for good, really. Now, now, one of the things you brought up was actually having national regulations regarding this. Um, what are some of the things that government and industry need to do if we're going to see coal seam gas mining operations proceed um, to ensure that they happen safely and in the most environmentally agreeable way possible? M my concern was that uh, things were happening very, very fast in Australia, particularly in New South Wales, and it's been happening very quickly in, in Queensland as well. And we started to see a few proposals coming from the big coal seam gas companies in New South Wales the environmental regulators have very little experience in this area. They don't necessarily know what are the issues, what are the key questions that they need to ask and have demonstrated by the proponents of these schemes, and what sorts of things do they need to insist on uh, in order to make sure that these schemes are, are designed and managed and operated in an appropriate way. And I was actually getting phone calls from, from people within the environment agency asking me, you know, do I know about um, issues associated with chemical contaminants in, in, in coal seams. I knew very little either. Uh, but it made me realise that we have this real lack of knowledge and we have a lack of a national approach to at least asking what those questions are and, and, and understanding how do we do this properly? How do we insist that these things are done properly? Um, so that's what made me initially realise that we really need to come together as a, as a country, the way that we have for drinking water guidelines, we need to get the, the environmental regulators involved and we need to get the public health regulators involved, we need to get the industry involved and we need other stakeholders, we need, we need the community to participate in the development of a clear set of guidelines, a clear understanding of, of how to do this, what to insist on, what to look out for, where the red flags should be. We don't currently have that. We have it for drinking water and it's worked extremely well for drinking water in Australia. We have a very comprehensive and consistent framework for, for managing safe drinking water quality in Australia. And I think that that's potentially a, a very good blueprint for developing coal seam gas guidelines. Stuart, thanks very much for joining us today. It was a fascinating chat. My pleasure, Miles. Thank you.